This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series, The Bad Batch Hunter. This is number one in the line, and uh, he is the leader of the squad, so it's only appropriate. But I have grown to be a fan of the, uh, the series, as well as the uh, origins on the Clone Wars cartoon in the final season, but... Take a look at the box. Here is the artwork. Looks pretty good. There's a description there. If you want to take the time to read it, go ahead and pause it. Shows that he is 01, Star Wars The Bad Batch. All right, let's get him cracked open and see what he has in store for us. And here we have Hunter out of the package. I think he does look pretty good. Uh, I love the detail and the damage that's painted into him. But let's take a closer look. Now, I will put a image from the cartoon right here, just for comparison. I think they did pretty good. I think the colors are a little off, but it's not bad. I do love the skull painted on the bandana. Nicely done eyes. The red, the gray, and the paint on the shoulder pads with the skull and the symbols look great. It's not just straight plastic. There is lots of battle damage. As you can see on the torso, lots of scraping, grinding everywhere. Same as for on the arm. Nicely detailed. You got communicators and other gadgets built into the armor. Look really good. Coming down the torso. More and more damage. Looks really good. Especially on the shins and the feet. Knee pads and feet really could have used some paint. They're just the swirly plastic, but they are detailed with that battle damage. I think they look good. Taking a look at this arm, you got more battle damage, and you do have his holster for his knife on his forearm, which looks really good, nicely detailed. As far as articulation, really good. Lots of up and down, lots of attitude. So, great there. I do like the shoulder pads, do move with the figure so you can move the arm without having to worry about that being a problem getting in the way arms can go all the way up a little bit of a butterfly in there but not much all the way around you got a rotation right above the elbow you do have a double jointed elbow which gives you a little bit more than 90 degrees. Wrist does swivel. This hand has the in and out, while this hand has the up and down. Otherwise, it's the same. It does have an ab crunch, which works pretty well, honestly. Standard hips, with the armor on, you get out to there. You can kick that far up only that far back you do get a double jointed knee but with the armor it only takes you that far and kneecap is fixed then you do have a swivel below the leg below the thigh feet up and down rocker they look really good. So, overall, nicely articulated. Let's bring in his accessories. You do have the backpack, which is nicely detailed again with battle damage, red, black, and gray accents. It looks good. It's a shame that there's no weapon storage on here, though. But, 
that does peg into the back rather nicely. Nice and secure. We do have his helmet, which is tremendously painted. It's the gray plastic with paint accents. It does fit perfectly. And you can take a look at the detail. I love the white, red, and black and silver paints on it. it looks really good. Nice scarring on the top of the helmet. All the way to the back. They definitely paid attention to the detail on this one. It looks really good. We'll bring in his little pistol, which is nicely detailed also. That can fit into the hand. Both hands do have trigger fingers, so actually I take that back. This hand has a trigger finger, this hand does not. But he can hold it in either one. He also comes with his blaster. Looks good. And that does fit into that hand perfectly. And then lastly, we'll bring in the dagger, which I do enjoy because it has the the laser effect going through it. Painted silver looks good, nicely detailed, as as all of these accessories are. They definitely paid attention to the show for this one. And for this, you have the option you can store it in the sheet. on his forearm or you can have him using it. Holds it holds it very very well. So overall I have to say they definitely did do the character some justice with this figure. Uh, those that enjoy the show I feel would definitely enjoy the figure that goes along with it. And just for comparison, here he is with one of his wave mates, the Elite Trooper. I like that they didn't just copy the armor design. Each one is different, so kudos to Hasbro for that. Final thoughts on the character? I gotta say he looks tremendous. I love the uh, paintwork, sculpt work, everything looks great. The only flaw that I can find is just the lack of storage for that pistol. It's got a whole backpack, but you can't use it for anything. But that being said, I did pick this guy up at Target. Keep an eye out because they are out in the wild. And uh, I do recommend it. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for watching.